Hello, my name is Guy, and I will explain to you how to troubleshoot to the Rape Atlas Probe version 3. We will look at basic troubleshooting steps, including probe LED lights, power issues, connectivity issues, and USB issues. But first, let's get to know the probe a bit better. The version 3 probe has one Ethernet connector, one USB mini connector, and five LEDs. The top light on the V3 is marked by a power icon and shows whether the unit is receiving power. It turns on once the unit is plugged in. The light below it, marked by a globe, briefly blinks during system boot. It will continuously blink if the system is unable to complete startup. Below this, marked by a wireless icon, is the firmware LED. This will blink slowly during startup and will blink quickly while connecting to the Atlas system. It will stop blinking when the connection is established. Below the firmware LED is the LAN LED. This LED is used to indicate whether the system has a network connection. It will blink slowly while trying to connect and quickly if no connection can be established. It will stop blinking when the connection is established. The bottommost LED will blink quickly during early system boot and then remain on. The most common issue that we see with hardware probes is power issues. If the probe does not receive enough power, it may behave unpredictably. This can happen even after it's been running for a long time. If you have problems, one simple step you can take is to replace the USB cable and the adapter. This will rule out power issues. You will need at least a 5 watt USB power adapter for a probe to work. If your probe is still not working, verify that you can visit atlas.ripe.net with the browser on your phone or computer while using the same network. If this does not work, repeat the same test by using the mobile network on your phone or tablet. This will rule out problems with reaching Ripe Atlas. Verify that the LEDs next to the network connector are on or blinking. These will be off when there is no network connection. If this does not solve anything, swap out the network cable for a new one and repeat the tests. The version 3 probe sometimes experiences issues with the USB storage. USB sticks, as they are commonly known, have a limited lifetime. If you suspect your probe has problems with its USB storage, first reboot it. If the LED marked by a globe blinks permanently, your probe may have difficulty recognizing the USB stick. Please replace it with a new empty stick and reboot the unit. If your probe still does not work, look up its probe identifier on the bottom of the unit. Next, go to atlas.ripe.net with your browser, click on probes and anchors, then on probes. Click on login to see more if you haven't logged in, then on mine after you've logged in. Find the probe with your probe ID and click on it. Click on status to see that your probe is connected. Also, click on network and locate connection history by scrolling down. See if the first row indicates still connected. Scroll down even farther to the SOS history to verify that the probe is not malfunctioning. USB issues will be explicitly denoted in the SOS history. I hope that I've helped to resolve your issues with the Ripe Atlas probe. As always, we are ready to support you if you have any problems. Please contact us at atlas at ripe.net if you have any questions.